Um, my name is Peter Klein. Um, presently, I'm associate uh, professor in Department of Medicine at Notre Dame University. Um, but I came to where I am by many parts. Um, Twenty odd years in general practice, running my own practice, um, therefore being uh, conversant with practice management, and of course with the practice of medicine in a broad way. Um, about 18 years in uh, medical politics, um, including being uh, chairman at the national level of Australian College of General Practitioners. Um, I've been on a multitude of um, government committees to do with standards, and I've uh, also had um, about seven, eight years um, in public health um, as a CEO of a division of general practice. Um, all this uh, has brought me together as having a good understanding of how general practice works and how things can go wrong in general practice, which is in fact the centre part of my present work. What can go wrong in general practice? In layman's terms, my um, experience in medicine is being able to do pretty well everything to a degree which makes one adequately competent to understand what goes right and what goes wrong. That is the role of a general practitioner. Um, the other role of a general practitioner is to coordinate the healthcare of people so that they don't fall between the cracks. And it is when the people fall between the cracks is when they end up in litigation. I see a wide, a very wide range of injuries. Um, and by injuries, um, that includes not just physical injuries, um, for which I have serious connotation for injuries and uh, motor vehicle accidents, but the general terminology of injuries, which is those things that happen to people um, which shouldn't happen uh, or happen as a consequence of their treatment. Um, therefore, it's not limited to any one, I'm not limited to any one particular or any group of conditions. I'm not limited to orthopedics, or I'm not limited to neurology, or I'm not limited to cardiology. All those things pass my table. Because all those things pass the table of the general practitioner. And across the whole area of medicine, it's my job to be able to recognise where things have gone wrong. Taking care of people is a matter of understanding their needs and finding a way in which one can make a special contribution. So, what I do is I, I review all, my, all the files very thoroughly before putting pen to paper. This is the majority of the work. And after that process, which can take quite a long time, I'm in a position usually to know what's missing, where the breach may have occurred, what the problem areas of the case are likely to be, what may or may not have been overlooked, and sometimes I learn what I need to look at again. I'll approach the client, the lawyer, to discuss the case, to make sure that the final product does the best service for the client, for the patient. Occasionally this means that there is no case, which is fine. Much better that I don't write a report if there is no case and everybody is well served by that. The client's better off, the lawyer's better off, we're all better off. And if there is a case, then it's important and advantageous to the lawyer and the client that it's a strong one. I know that I've done a good job when my reports are not challenged and my reports are rarely challenged. The question about what I hope to provide is one of those questions which is very simple and when you think about it, you know the answer, but it's really hard to state it. It's very hard to state it in a way that isn't cliche, so I thought about this one. And the answer is really a very Australian one. Two words, giving people a fair game. If I feel that I've given the litigant, the plaintiff, a fair go, then I feel I've done my job, that they can get the best reparation for their injury that they can possibly get.